I still don't know what I'm playing in Eternal Weekend, and today we're testing out Grix's Tinker Breach, a deck that I built a couple of years ago that Alex McKinley won in Eternal Weekend with. Well, it's received some upgrades since then, mainly Lorien Revealed, and today we're going to find out if it has what it takes to be my deck selection. Let's go check it out. Why Grixis Tinker Breach? Well, if you've been watching the channel, you would know that I've been testing out Beseech the Mirror Storm. You can find my latest attempt in the card above. At the end of that video, I said that I wanted to play Preordain and try that out. It didn't really go that well in my testing. I played two leagues with it. But one thing that I learned was that I didn't like tapping out turn one for Preordain. I kept on dying over and over again and holding open your mana was really good. So we're applying that philosophy today to Underworld Breach combo, specifically Grixis Tinker Breach, a deck that I helped you know, create a couple years ago that got Alex McKinley of the Epic Storm team an Eternal Weekend painting. Pretty excited about that. However, that deck was built around four copies of Preordain. Obviously, today we're playing Zero. Instead, we're playing Lorien Revealed from Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle-Earth. If you don't know what this card does, you probably haven't been playing Magic the last six months. But the idea is that we're leveraging that card today alongside Telerian Academy with a bunch of broken artifact mana, so we can actually cast this pretty efficiently in our Tinker deck. Which, also by the way, you can cast it off of Blossom Citadel and draw three cards, which is pretty good. So this deck is highly synergistic and super powerful. That's what we're looking to accomplish today. If you have any thoughts, comments, questions, suggestions, whatever, put those down below. But I'm just excited to play Vintage. I've been really enjoying the format recently, so I hope to see you in the first match. Don't go anywhere. If you enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, early access to videos, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us like theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via theepicsroom.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Match number one. I'm pretty excited. Really like this deck. So we have turn one probe and then we can decide if we're playing the soul ring or not. Vampire tutor for or actually time walk vampire tutor for tinker plus spell pierce backup. Yeah this hand's great. Keep. All right our opponent ends up taking a mulligan and uh, we're ready to go. Why don't we just lead on the Gitaxian probe? We'll go to 18 life. We find a key. They're on Doomsday and they have days in hand. So I can just set up a mana vault win. We will play the soul ring and then our key. Untap the soul ring and then pass the turn. Polluted it Delta and they're just passing. Force of Will was a great draw. So we will cast the Time Walk and then Vampiric Tutor. They fetch in response. Underground Sea was their pick. They cast a Vampiric Tutor of their own. All right, does mine resolve? Let's go get that Time Vault and we'll take our turn. Oh, wow, it was a Time Vault. That's crazy. So if our opponent didn't draw exactly Force of Will, which it turns out that they did, they should have held open a mana for Brainstorm. So I had a pretty strong hunch that they actually drew Force of Will as their draw step. Well, guess what? So did we. And now we get to win the game. Sweet. Our opponent concedes. They also value their time. Big fan of that. All right. We definitely want Force of Negation versus Doomsday. The Pyroblast can also come in. We don't want Hercules Recall. That's for sure. We also don't want Lightning Bolt. So that's 62 cards that are left. In a more controlling matchup like this, I'm okay boarding out Mox Emerald. I think that's a fine card to, you know, substitute. We can also maybe board out the Basic Island or even the Mox Pearl. I think I'd rather take out the Mox Pearl when I'm a Tolarian Academy deck. We could try this. Interesting. Am I crazy if I keep this? Like if we draw a blue source or live long enough for the Saga to get one, this hand is amazing. Yeah, let's give it a go. First turn underground C and preordain. They put two cards on the bottom. Mox Jet. And we take a draw. Pyroblast. Honestly, that's pretty good. 
We'll play our Mox Ruby and pass the turn. So at least for now, we have double backup. They play a Ponder. I could Pyroblast that. I don't think that's really what we should be looking to do. Underground C, and they pass. They have five cards in their hand. Land. I'm not going to complain about a mental misstep. Fine. We will pass the turn. Land number three. Cataxium Probe. I'm going to Pyroblast this. This is a Doomsday. Let's Force of Will exiling a Ponder. Okay. They did not fight back. That's interesting. We'll draw for turn. Another Pyroblast. We'll add a Colorless. Go grab Black Lotus. Sacrifice the Lotus for blue. Actually, dude, I just have a win here. Demonic Tutor for Underworld Breach. So I sacrifice this for black. I have five total mana. Demonic Tutor floating one. I escape Lotus. No, I don't. Not that I can think of, at least. Because Demonic Tutor into Breach is four mana. We have five, so I'd have one floating. I don't have enough cards to escape. Hold on. I think we actually do have it. Okay, so Black Lotus for black. Underworld Breach floating one. We escape Black Lotus. Merchant Scroll for a Brain Freeze. The downside of this is it would lose to literally anything. Uh, even a daze. I think I'm just going to Ancestral Recall. All right, grab the Ancestral. We'll target ourselves. One blue floating. Cast Brainstorm. Dress down. That's a good one. Question is like, what am I supposed to do here? I guess I'm going to play the long game. Like, I don't feel like I can lose as long as I'm patient. So let's just be patient. Like, my hand is stacked. The only way I think I lose this is if I'm overly aggressive. I'm going to attempt a Fluster Storm. Okay. And now we're going to draw the Scalding Tarn. I can just pass here. They search out another copy of Underground Sea. They have four cards. I'm going to continue to be patient. They play a Preordain. Demonic Tutor. That's fine by me. Okay. So we'll untap, we'll draw. It's a Pluted Delta. I think that now what I can do is I can go grab an Underworld Breach and try to win next turn. Okay, we'll pass. Our opponent with six cards in hand is going to pass the turn. Oh, they stopped in second main phase and they're continuing to pass. Mock Sapphire. Okay, we'll play that, I guess. Attempt an Underworld Breach. The Force of Will exiling a daze. We will cast Pyroblast. Ancestral Recall. I'm going to attempt a Mental Misstep. I go to 15. I could get blown up by a Fluster Storm here. They cycle Street Wraith. Sign of Desperation. Uh-oh. Underworld Breach. Force of Will Exiling Time Lock. I like your style. Let's do that. Force of Will Exile Time Lock. Their last card in hand is Dressed Down. That's funny. My last card in hand is Dressed Down. Boom! We win the match. We are 1-0 over Doomsday. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Match number two on the draw, and we've opened up a pretty stellar hand. Let's go. We're a time vault. I'm sorry, we have the time vault. We're a key away, which means that, you know, an Urza Saga might be able to win this game for us. Once upon a time. I could have played Force of Will here. Um, sometimes these players keep Once Upon a Time hands hoping to hit the Bizarre of Baghdad. I don't know if I really want to force Will a Once Upon a Time. I'm just going to let it go. So that's my thought process. They find a Lures of the Dream Den. Mox Jet. Mox Sapphire. What is going on here? Archon of Emeria. I am going to exile this Fluster Storm. Okay, they have three cards left, one of which is a Lurus. We'll take a draw. Mental Misstep. Not a great draw. It's not very good in this matchup. 
we will grab I don't think it really matters. I guess I could grab the island to play around wasteland a little bit. Time vault. We will pass. Three mana again. Luris. Yep. Cannot get back the Archon of Emeria. Luris is two or less. Archon costs three. So we will go to our turn. Mox Jet. Let's play the top. Spin top. So next turn, I could hard cast a Loring Revealed. That is an option for us. I'd have to get rid of my top to do so. I think I'm supposed to just shuffle this. We will shuffle using the Loring Revealed. Go grab a Volcanic Island. Play it and pass the turn. Losing my top is not worth drawing three cards. Noble Hierarch. Am I going to get a better... Mental misstep target. So the thing is, maybe I should top first. Like they could just replay this off of the Luris, but I feel like they're stuck on mana at the moment. This wins the game on our turn. Okay, I guess I'm going to. Actually, if I'm going to win the game, why would I get rid of a misstep? We're going to let this happen. I'll take four. Ouch. All right, so now we draw the Vampiric Tutor. This goes and gets Manifold Key. We will draw a key using top. And our opponent concedes. Nice. Okay, take that, Archon of Emeria. We'll bring in our additional copies of Lightning Bolt. I could bring in the Sphinx of the Steel Wind. I'm not sure if it's actually good against these decks. But it does give you a nice beatdown plan. And I don't know if they're actually going to leave in, like, Swords to Plowshares, for example. So after we board out Fluster Storm and the Pyroblast, we have two open slots. Needle seems like a pretty good include for us. The question is, do we want Tabernacle and do we want the Sphinx of the Steel Wind? I don't think that this is a very good dig through time matchup, but I also don't think we want the Hercules Recall, so that can go out. I'm a little bit worried about the dig and the Sphinx in the deck. I'm going to board out the dig, and then we'll bring in the tabernacle. Let's try this. Tabernacle here is mostly just to slow down our opponent's development. We have the time vault again. We have Lorien revealed. I don't feel like this hand actually does anything. Like, yeah, it's lands and spells, but I don't know. I'm going to send it. This seems a little bit better. Keep, and let's get rid of the lotus petal. Mock sapphire. Cavern of souls. They name human. Outland Liberator. Okay. So that makes my needle a little bit worse. Well, that's a good one. I'm going to grab my basic. And I think I'm going to just pass here. So their Outland Liberator transformed. And now whenever this creature attacks, they can destroy an artifact or enchantment. And this is an Archon of Emeria. I will respond by casting Ancestral Recall. I cannot force this. It cannot be countered due to Cavern of Souls. That's going to happen. Okay. We are at 16. Draw for turn. It's another spell pierce. Play the Tabernacle. And I will... Maybe I was supposed to cast the Ponder. I don't know. Uh, so my thought process here is that I want to cycle the Lorien Revealed on the end step, but maybe I'm supposed to do the Ponder instead. Horizon Canopy, Mox Ruby, so they will not be casting another spell this turn. And we'll be taking 5 down to 11. On their end step, we will cycle the Lorien Revealed. Go grab the Volcanic Island. We have three copies of Lightning Bolt. That's what we're looking for here. Brainstorm. I'm going to ponder. I realized that I could brainstorm here to fix up my hand, but... And there's a bolt. Beautiful. We can put the Breach on the bottom. Play the Volcanic and pass the turn. So this attack will put me to six. I'm pretty close to death. Not a big fan of that. Wasteland. They chose correctly a timely Wasteland here. That's going to seal up this game. Brainstorm. Ruby. Oh, I can't even play the Ruby. So I would go to one. Hold on. I might be able to do something here. Player Urza Saga. No, because I can't go Ruby Bolt next turn. Yeah, I'm just dead. Okay, we can go to the next game. Okay, so th 
The spell pierces looked a little embarrassing here, but they're really in the deck to hit their mana, and we were on the draw, so that happens. Resubmit. On the play for game three. Yeah, I'm down to keep this. Keep Black Lotus, Tolarian Academy, Ancestral Recall, Storm 2, Demonic Tutor. I mean, that wins the game next turn. We'll pass. Force of Vigor on my Lotus. I'm going to Force of Will that. Mox Pearl, Cavern of Souls. They name Human, Thalia. So we can actually win through a Thalia, but we might need a little bit more mana than we have access to at this very moment. Lorien Revealed. I'm going to play the Tabernacle and look to tangle up their mana a little bit. They pay for Thalia. Arrakis. We'll take two down to 17. And now they're passing. We will cycle the Lorien Revealed. Go grab an Underground Sea. Draw for turn and it's a Soul Ring. Let's fetch. And I can play the Soul Ring and then next turn try to win the game. Pass the turn. They have land number three. Archon of Emeria. They have two cards that are left in their hand. So I think the play is that I'm going to Demonic Tutor for Dress Down. And then we can win it on their our next turn. All right, so... Oh, I can't... Demo well, I guess I could if I sacrificed the Lotus. I mean, it's probably still good enough. Demonic Tutor. Grab the Dress Down. And now they have to pay for Tabernacle. Noble Hierarch. They have one card in hand. I will fall to 10 life. On their end step, we will cast the Dress Down. It resolves, we draw a card. They have one card in hand. Play Underworld Breach. We'll play our land for turn. Escape Demonic Tutor. Storm is two. We'll grab Rain Freeze and cast it. Target myself. There's one card I'm afraid of here. And our opponent just said GG. The card that I was afraid of was Mind Break Trap. However, our opponent did not have it, and we just beat this Hate Bears deck, which is pretty sweet. We're 2 0. There's still three matches left to go. Tons of vintage magic. I hope you stick around and watch the rest of it. Maybe I'll see you in the third match. In fact, I know that I will. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Time for the third match. We are on the draw and while I have Ancestral Recall, Force of Will, and Flusterstorm, keep, 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 keep. No clue what our opponent is playing. Scalding Tarn. Pyroblast. That's certainly a good one. We'll play out our Mox Opal, or I'm sorry, Mox Emerald. Mox Opal would be much worse here. And they are fetching. Ponder is fine. They chose to shuffle. Black Lotus. On their end step, we will cycle the Lorien Revealed. Grab Underground Sea. Another Force of Will. Okay, I'm going to pass the turn. Our opponent plays land number three, Preordain. They put one on top, one on the bottom. Sleight of Hand, so they are on Doomsday. Sleight of Hand resolves. I don't like this. In fact, I updated my Mox field, uh, hashtag sponsored, just yesterday with my Doomsday list, and I'm playing Consider over this. You're a deck that plays like Flusterstorm and sometimes Spell Pierce and things like that. I think that this card is kind of embarrassing, and if you're looking to make a Doomsday pile that beats effects like Narset or Leovold or whatever, Consider doesn't put a card on the bottom. It actually does mill a card still. So I get Sleight of Hand, but like a lot of these Doomsday lists are also playing Dig Through Time and Treasure Cruise and Consider helps there where, ooh, they're getting spicy here. I'm going to respond. Let's grab Volcanic Island and I will Ancestral Recall. Bluster Storm. They have three cards in hand. I'm going to Fluster Storm their Fluster Storm. Okay. Fluster Storms are resolving. 
I just want to draw three cards. Is that too much to ask? Not a very good three. Boss's Oracle. You may resolve that. So now they're going to respond to the trigger and they will fetch and get an underground seat. And then they will cast Demonic Consultation. So if their hand is Demonic Consultation, Force of Will, I am SOL because I did not draw blue cards off of my Ancestral Recall. Okay, they did not have Force of Will. So now their Oracle resolves and they get a Pseudo Scry ability. And then we can go Demonic Tutor for Tinker, but we already have the Bolasa Citadel in hand. Or we can just go get Underworld Breach. There's a couple options we have here. The problem with Underworld Breach is uh, Underground Seas are black. Breaches are, or I'm sorry, Volcanic is a red for Breach. We don't have anything color-wise to win the game with. I think I could go get Black Lotus, then cast the Bolasa's Citadel, though. That is on the table for us. So Demonic Tutor. Let's go get Black Lotus. We'll play the Lotus. Storm is three. Mox Pearl, so we have to be aware that Mind Break Trap is a card they could have. It's not very common in main decks, but you never know. We have not played a land yet. Time Vault. There's our land drop. We'll play the land. Underworld Breach. How about that? That's just a win. Easy. Love it. Okay. There's Beating Up Doomsday. We'll bring in Force of Negation, the Pyroblasts. I don't want Hercules Recall, and I don't want the Lightning Bolt. And I believe in match one, we boarded out the Mox Emerald and a basic island. Submit. If there's a card that you think I should be boarding out instead of the basic island versus Doomsday, please let me know. I would be greatly interested in your thoughts. Game number two, and while this hand is uh, pretty insane, we're definitely going to keep this. So one trick that people do in Vintage is they lead on Black Lotus before revealing their land. We're facing a deck that has multiple copies of Days in it. So that's not really something I'm interested in. And here they get Leyline of the Void. So we do have three copies of Underworld Breach on our deck, but we are not a deck that has to win using Underworld Breach. I am very okay with them taking a pseudo mulligan here. We draw the Breach right on time. Okay, the Saga will trigger, we'll play our Black Lotus. So, they mulliganed, and then we essentially have a mulligan now, unless we find our lone brainstorm to convert this into something useful. They have five cards in their hand. On their end step, I will cycle this Lorien Revealed. Let's go grab a Volcanic Island. We do have three copies of Pyroblast in our deck. Saga will go up to the second chapter. Ooh, Mystical Tutor gets Tinker here. Big fan of that. We have Tinker with triple backup next turn. We are now in our opponent's main phase. They play land number three. They still have five cards in their hand. All right, on their end step, we will cast Mystical Tutor. We will grab Tinker. And now we'll draw the Tinker. Surprise, surprise. We will float a colorless and then Tinker. I'm sorry, we will use the Saga's ability. Do you have an opposition agent here? My hand uh, definitely loses to an opposition agent. It looks like they do. Wow. I'm about to get blown out. No, okay. Grab the soul ring. Sacrifice Black Lotus for blue. And we will cast Tinker. Getting rid of the soul ring. It's time to fight. Dark Ritual. Is this a hard cast force? Playing into my spell peers? I love that. I love that so much. Yeah, Spell Pierce. Tinker. Ooh, Citadel. I'm going to Pyroblast your Leyline of the Void. Mana Crypt, Storm 6. So we can just win by playing Brain Freeze for Lethal Storm. That is an option. Scalding Tarn, Mox Pearl, Storm 8. All right, we're going to have to shuffle. We don't want that land on top. Grab an Underground Sea. Underworld Breach will hold priority on this in case we reveal a counter spell. So now I can spell pierce the breach and then fluster restore my spell pierce. I'm at 15. If we can find brain freeze, I think it's roughly lethal now. All right, so the spell pierce has been countered. Now we're going to resolve the rest of the copies of fluster storm. 
All right, so Brain Freeze is not lethal at the moment. It's getting pretty close, though. Underworld Breach, we will blast their land. Dig through time. I was literally just talking about this with Alex McKinley, about how embarrassing this card is with Bolasa Citadel, because if I cast this, I'm losing eight life. But I think that's what I'm doing here. Dig through time. Storm 13. Eight life on the line. Ancestral Recall. And I guess we'll take a Force of Will. Any order, we'll cast Time Walk. I'm at four life. We have a land on top that does nothing. Ancestral Recall, let's clear that land. Storm 15. Um, I can draw the Lorien Revealed by casting Probe for Mana. Dress down. They have Street Wraith Doomsday. I'm worried about this Mana Crypt killing me. So if I play Key and untap the Sapphire, I have four mana, which is one mana short of casting the Lorien. So the thing about Time Vault is I have the Mana Crypt in play, so that could end up killing me. I'm going to cycle. We'll shuffle our deck. Grab Volcanic. There's a Saga. All right, I might die to my own Mana Crypt. Storm 17. If I could have found Brain Freeze, this would have been lethal. However, I did not, and we paid eight life to a dig through time. Okay. We will pass the turn. I can get rid of the Mana Crypt if we get up to 10 permanents, but it's kind of tough to do that with this deck. All right, so we need Mana Crypt to not kill me here. Tails. We win the flip. Draw the Ursa Saga. And immediately reveal Force of Will. That is devastating. All right, so I'm going to fetch to three, which means that we're dead to a lost Mana Crypt flip. Ponder. Let's cast it to two life. There's Time Vault, but there's a Mana Crypt in play. I guess I'm at two. I have no way of getting rid of the Crypt. Tinker is gone. Yeah, I think I'm just going to die here. I was too aggressive with my Citadel. We're going to shuffle. We draw a Lorien Revealed. We'll shuffle with the Lorien Revealed. Let's look at our deck and see if I have any way of getting rid of this Mana Crypt. I do not. So my only way of winning is with Construct Tokens, because I'm not going to get a Storm Count high enough. Play the Lotus Petal. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. I'm just dead to the Mana Crypt. I'm going to allow the Doomsday to resolve. I think this is one of the few ways that I could win this game. Our opponent has told us that they messed up. I'm not sure what they mean by that, uh, but we know that they have a Street Wraith in their hand. And now they're passing the turn. Will I die to my own Mana Crypt? Tails. We lost the flip, and we are headed to game number three. Okay, so I died due to my own greed. So, I'm just going to resubmit. I still think I want the third Underworld Breach. We're on the play. What a hand. Keep. Leyline of the Void is back. Black Lotus. Volcanic Island. We'll play a Lotus Petal. And then pass the turn. In their upkeep, we're going to cast Ancestral Recall. This dodges Force of Negation and Mind Break Trap. Holy moly, that was good. Let's go. All right, they have Misty Rainforest, Underground Sea, Duress. I'm going to Force of Will the Duress, Exiling Dress Down. Okay, Underworld Breach, Blue. Cast Tinker, the Force of Will Exiling Probe. I'm going to Pyroblast. If they have days, we're, we, we're not going to get destroyed. Tinker, A. So I could just get Key. I'm going to get Citadel. Vampiric Tutor. This puts any card on top, so we can just go get Sensei's Divining Top, and it should be a pretty easy win from here. We have 16 life. Mystical Tutor. Storm is 6. Let's get, I don't know, um, Brainstorm. We'll cast the Brainstorm. I'm going to put back Time Vault. Put Ponder underneath. Play the Time Vault. 11 life left. Play Ponder. Merchant Scrolls, an interesting one. I think I'm going to shuffle these. Time Walk was the other card I was thinking about when I played the Merchant Scroll, or when I played the Mystical Tutor. We ended up getting it anyway. And there's the key. That is going to be the game. 
Okay, we don't really need to do anything else. Oh, Storm 13, we can just deck them here. They cycle the Street Wraith, and they concede. Nice. All right, we came back and got it. We are now 3-0 beating Doomsday twice. There's still two matches left to go. Let's try to get those as well. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. On the play in the fourth match. Sure, I guess. I'm not really convinced this hand is that great, but we'll keep it. Volcanic Island, and then play the Manifold Key. My plan is to go turn to Urza Saga into Time Walk. Library. Uh-oh. I mean, this isn't actually... Ooh, they're on like a really old uh, paradoxical outcome list. This is not a card that sees a lot of play these days. Mana Crypt. We'll play the Mana Crypt. I could actually hard cast the Lorien here. I feel like that's probably a better play than Urza Saga. We will untap the Mana Crypt. Blue, blue. And then let's attempt to draw three cards. It resolves. We will play Lotus Petal and then pass the turn. They now have Volcanic Island. They activate the library, drawing their eighth card. So they have some extra stuff to do here since he's divining top. I mean, our opponent's playing for the long game here. Tails and we lost the flip. We'll take a draw. Mox Emerald. Let's play Time Walk. Let's find out if that resolves. It does. We'll now play Urza Saga and Merchant Scroll. So I could get Mystical Tutor, Upkeep Tutor for Tinker, Tinker with Force Backup. I'm trying to think if that's the play I want to make. I think it is. We will go to our next turn. Mana Crypt. Tails, we lost the flip. We will Mystical Tutor, grab Tinker, draw the Tinker, and now I will Tinker Sacrificing Mana Crypt. If this resolves, we get Time Vault and just win the game. They force a negation, exiling Tinker. We will force back. And our opponent concedes. Nice. All right, so all that Library of Alexandria drawing was not good enough. We're facing another blue deck. It's a combo mirror where they're likely playing Paradoxical Outcome. So having a Hercules Recall in your deck isn't ideal, but it's not the worst. All right, let's find out if we have enough stuff to board out first. So if they're playing the Library of Alexandria list, I don't know if they have Sagas, so I don't think I want the Dress Down. That's 62 cards. Unfortunately, I think Hercules Recall needs to go. And then probably the Mox Emerald. You could also board out the Basic Island, but Hercules Recall or Dress Down aren't good enough to keep that. We will submit this. The amount of times this league that I've opened up Ancestral Recall plus Force is just so high. Obviously, we're keeping this hand. They do have Saga. Interesting. Mox Opal. Okay, they have five cards. We will play our Lotus Petal. And then pass the turn. They cycle a Lorien Revealed. Grabbing a Volcanic Island. In their upkeep, we will cast Ancestral Recall targeting us. Wow, that was decent. Their saga goes up to two. Mana Vault. Sure, you can have that. They thought better and now they're passing. We'll take a blind draw. It's Time Vault. Let's cycle a Lorien Revealed. We'll grab Underground Sea. We have eight cards. I can Mystical here. I could also just Time Walk. But I think Lotus Petal is my artifact for this Tinker. Uh, what to do, what to do. I think I'm going to Mystical Tutor. And we'll put Demonic Tutor on top, I think, because Demonic Tutor grabs Black Lotus, Black Lotus into Breach, plus a bunch of counter magic, or Black Lotus just Tinker. Okay, pass the turn. And that means that I don't even necessarily need the Tinker, because I'm, Tinker might be able to be pitched to a force now, because I might be able to just win without casting Tinker. The third chapter on Saga. So this gets them a an artifact for Metalcraft. They grab a Mock Sapphire. They play another copy of Urza's Saga. They have four cards left in their hand. The Fairy Time Raveler. I will Force of Negation exiling Time Walk. 
They blast it. So if I fluster storm here, they can pay. I'm going to force of will exiling tinker. Okay. So let's assume their last two cards are force of will and a blue card or force of negation and a blue card. I, be I mean, I could be wrong. I believe I can win through that here. Demonic tutor. We will grab black Lotus play the Lotus. So if I do Lotus petal for red black Lotus for blue, yeah, that works. Underworld Breach, they force, and now I can fluster, and that's the game. We are now 4-0, whether our opponent uh, knows it or not. We will now play Black Lotus, Exile, Fluster Storm, Force of Negation, and Force of Will. Sacrifice the Black Lotus for Black. Cast Demonic Tutor. Exile, Lorien Revealed, Mystical Tutor, and Lotus Petal. And now we grab Rain Freeze. Target ourselves. Storm is eight. Sweet. 4 0, one match left. Can we get the trophy? Let's go find out. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as seven tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. All right, it's trophy time. We're on the draw in match number five. We have no lands. We cannot keep this. Going to six. This seems fine. I don't know what our opponent's playing. I'm going to bottom the lightning bolt. Okay. We're one mana short of turn one hardcast Lorien plus Fluster Storm backup. Looks like they have an ancestral recall. I don't like that. Brutal. Yep, they have eight cards. We have Force of Will. I could try my own Ancestral here. It's going to be a lot. And by a lot, I mean literally five mana costing me a card to cast it. Lorien Revealed. Come on, no force. They force will exiling Lorien Revealed. I'm going to force back. Lorien Revealed. I mean, that's not bad, but we have to be able to untap here. They still have seven cards in their hand. Channeler. So they're on Breach? Wasteland. Okay, Soul Ring. We'll play the ring, and then play the key. Untap the Sapphire, and then we'll pass. The opponent has five cards in hand. All right, still five. We're at 17. Tropical Island. Preordain. No point in countering that card. They surveil away an Ethereal Forger. And they put two cards on bottom with Preordain. Come on, Time Vault. We pass. Their Channeler is Delirious now. So this attack will put me to 14. They play a third land. Ethereal Forger. I'm going to attempt to Pyroblast this. Blast the Ethereal Forger. A Mental Misstep. I'm going to Spell Pierce the Misstep. And if they do anything else, I can use the key to untap Sapphire and then Fluster Storm. All right, so now we're back on Blast on Forger, and it's countered. They have three cards left in hand. We're about to draw up to two. We have a pretty stocked graveyard, but I don't think Underworld Breach would win quite yet. Bolt. I'm going to hold the bolt just for a second. Like, I understand that they are getting some equity off of Surveil Triggers here, but the green is making me a little bit nervous about Collector Oof. Strip mine. That that hurts a lot here. Ren and six. So they have strip mine run. Okay. We're gonna kill this channeler in response. So for the rest of the game, I'm not going to have lands. They kept their card on top. Goodbye, Volcanic Island. They return the strip mine. So we know that they have a strip mine in hand, three cards overall. Take a draw. Lotus Petal. I think I'm gonna hold that for now because. I could use it for Storm for the load, for the Fluster Storm later if I need to protect a spell. They play the Strip Mine. Up the Beanstalk. In Vintage. I guess Ethereal Forger makes a little bit more sense now. Treasure Cruise. I'm going to Fluster Storm that. So they will draw a card here off up the Beanstalk. They still have three cards in hand. Come on, Duck. Something good. That is that something good? I don't know. You tell me. Time Vault. 
a Lotus Petal. Let's take another turn. And our opponent is not conceding. So they're going to try to uh, time us out, I guess, is their game plan. Underworld Breach. What does this do here? Not a lot. So let's just take another turn. Draw. There we go. And now we'll Time Vault. And our opponent concedes. Okay, one game away from greatness. So they're a green deck that's sort of controlling. So I'm, I'm guessing that there's probably Collector Roof somewhere. I don't hate the Lightning Bolts. They're also good against the Ethereal Forger and Channeler. We don't need Hercules Recall or Dress Down. I want the Pyroblasts. You could bring in Needle for Wasteland. That is another choice. I'm willing to bet that our opponent is a Force of Vigor deck, so I don't think relying on Needles is all that great. 62 cards. I like taking out Mystical Tutor in matchups where it gets a little grindy because you just don't want the card disadvantage. And then we can board out Mox Emerald. Actually, this seems like a great matchup for Sphinx. Let's board out the Citadel. Submit this. Oh boy, this hand is good. Keep. Turn 1 Wasteland. Mox Sapphire. I mean, wow, we just drew the Time Vault. All right, Saga, they destroy it. Play the Lotus Petal, Soul Ring. They're going to Force of Will Soul Ring. Okay, no mana for me. They play Preordain. They put one on top, one on the bottom, and they have three cards left. We're just going to play the Underground Sea and Pass, which was obviously a good draw here. On their end step, we'll cycle the Lorien Revealed. They have four cards now. Forger. Cycle the Lorien. So they have Force of Will they can get back off of this Forager. That's pretty scary. And Wasteland. Play Time Vault. Pass the turn. Let's see what they get back here. It's a pretty interesting decision. They choose Preordain. I thought it would have been Wasteland or Force here. That's a sign of confidence. They put two cards on the bottom with the Preordain. Ancestral Recall. That's certainly a good one. No land. Seven cards. Come on, duck. That's honestly really good. All right. Key. We will Force of Will Exiling Tinker. Key. They have Force of Will Exiling Fluster Storm. I will Spell Pierce. Key. And they have another Force. <laughs> wow. Exiling Time Walk. Yeah. Holy moly. We do have the Underworld Breach in our hand, but they can get back Wasteland here. So I don't know how good this actually is. They grab back Force of Will. They have four cards in their hand. Mox Pearl. Am I supposed to just say, like, I don't think you have a blue card? Which is, it feels kind of crazy to me. But next turn they can Wasteland me. So, I, like, I don't know if I'm actually getting any better in this game. Breach. They Force of Negation. Okay. Pass. So they attack. They didn't return anything. They still have three cards in hand. Dig through time. All right. Let's cast Dig. That resolves. Black Lotus Time Walk. Lorian Revealed. I feel like it's Lotus Lorian. And then we'll pass the turn. I feel like our opponent might be stuck with a bunch of uncastables in their hand because they only have the Volcanic. They could have gotten a card back last turn, but I think they clicked through it. They're not getting anything back again. I don't understand that. Why wouldn't you want to get a card back? Energy Flux. That one's going to be tough to beat. I guess we're getting rid of both of these. We'll draw for turn. Ponder. Black Lotus. I feel like I'm about to get dazed. Hardcast Lorien Revealed. Did not get dazed. So if I play the Saga, they're going to waste it. I think I'm going to just play this. Although my Saga can't outrace the Forger anyway at this point. We have to shuffle. Okay. Trying to think of how I would win at this point. You can have a Beanstalk. Wasteland. Maybe I was supposed to play the Saga last turn. I don't know. Play Saga. Well, Time Walk. Top was an interesting draw here. Play the top. Although it stinks that my forces are about to be dead due to taking three damage. So I have two dead cards in my hand. 
All right, I'm going to go to one. They did not return anything. Is it only spells? Is that what I'm missing? Return an instant or sorcery. Yeah, maybe I should have just read the card. I'm sure I'm going to get tons of YouTube comments about that. Ay, ay, ay. They have two cards left. Probably should have read this sooner. Treasure cruise. I'm going to top in response. Draw off the top. Cast ancestral. Okay. It's unfortunate that they played a second creature here because if they didn't, I could bolt the forger and stay, av stay alive a little bit longer, but that's off the table. And now they get to resolve treasure cruise because I'm at one life wasteland. That hurts. Okay. I don't, I, I guess a miracle brainstorm here could do it. Mox jet, play top. Hope to draw brainstorm off the spin, leaving open one mana. Nope. All right, we're going to game number three. Our opponent had a lot of interaction this game. Three forces, a force of negation, flusterstorm days. Like they are coming to win the fair matchup. I mean, I could board in the force of negation. I just don't think it's that good going to submit like it doesn't protect your own cards outside of like exactly ancestral recall so i think it's a mistake hmm uh, the saga is our color source here so we need them to not waste me for the first like multiple turns this is a risky one play the saga pass the turn there's the wasteland okay black lotus nope all right polluted delta and we'll pass the turn tropical island and a Pyroblast. So I could get Black Lotus with this Demonic Tutor and then try to resolve Breach. Looks like they have Fluster. Yep. Okay, so that hurts. We'll pass the turn. Another Wasteland. Up the Beanstalk. I'm not going to counter that. So if I play this, I could get Wasted. I wonder if I'm supposed to hold it just to make sure that I can use it later. We'll float a blue. And now they're going to switch phases. Strip mine. This person is not very nice. Now they can see that I held my volcanic island. Yeah, you can time walk. They cycle a Lorian revealed for the red source. They grab volcanic island. They have five cards in hand. And they're just passing. We need to draw like Black Lotus. That is by far our best draw. I'm going to pass. No need to play my volcanic island just to be destroyed. And now they're passing. Speak of the devil. All right, I think that this is our, our shot, our one chance for glory. Something m and meme. All right, so I'm trying to think like the easiest possible way to win this. So if I sacrifice the Lotus for black, that gives me enough escape fuel right away, but I can't back it with the Pyroblast. So I think I'm supposed to crack this for triple um, red. Well, we'll play Underworld Breach. They know all of my cards except for one. They don't know about the Foster Storm. If our opponent was crafty, they might realize that I don't have enough cards in Graveyard. And they're going to respond. I guess I'll force Underworld Breach. They force. I'm going to respond to the draw here and counter the force with a Pyroblast. They missed up. And now I'll show them that my last card was Foster Storm. So they have two cards in hand. They get to draw a third off the up the beanstalk. All right, Underworld Breach. A. All right, so we need to start by escaping Black Lotus. Exile three lands. Sacrifice the Lotus for Black. Demonic Tutor. Okay, we ended up with exactly enough cards in Graveyard for this to work. And now we grab Brain Freeze. Brain Freeze targeting ourselves. Storm 11. Is it trophy time? It is, we got it. 5-0 with Grix's Tinker Breach. I love that so much, especially after I struggled earlier this week testing out the Beseech lists. This is my third league with Grix's Tinker Breach, my first with no preordain, and no preordain got the 5-0. The first two leagues were 3-2 and 4-1. So cutting preordain for Academy, Mox Emerald, the fourth Lorien Revealed, and the fifth blue protection spell. It felt pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, hard to have complaints about a deck list when you go undefeated. I do think that the Monk's Emerald is a flex spot. This could be 
a treasure cruise, although I think treasure cruise in your three breach, dig through time citadel deck is a lot, but it could be something else. Like you don't have to play the Mox Emerald, but I thought I wanted it for making Academy cast the Lorien Revealed more often. We actually cast Lorien Revealed a number of times in this league. So that is actually pretty sweet that we were able to do that and really turn that into a card advantage spell. So that's what I've got. If you have any thoughts, you know, on how to make the deck better or, you know, misplays I had, you know, leave those down below. But thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Have a great day and keep storming. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. After you do that, open up our description where you can find all of our social media networks, including our Discord, where you can discuss today's deck in that Discord with me and tons of other combo masterminds. It's absolutely free to join, and it's certainly worth your while.